Hey, what's happening? This is King David, David and Goliath Music, bclass.com, dngmusiconline.com, and today we're going to talk about wet or dry. Right now it's raining outside. It's a pretty nice day to sleep and to eat and watch movies, but we're not going to do that. Today we're going to talk about wet or dry, when to use reverb and when not to use reverb. Uh, it's a term in the industry called make it wet, put some reverb on it. Keep it dry, that means take uh, the reverb off and just use the straight vocals. So I put together just a little clip with me singing some vocals over a track that I uh, produced. And we'll listen to it dry and then we'll listen to it wet. We'll talk about how and why I did that. And then make sure that you go get um, the mixing tutorial package over at beatclass.com. It's a very essential package if you want to become a professional, uh, complete music producer that can also engineer uh, your own music, you definitely want to get that package. All right, so let's get started. So I'm going to play a piece of the track. I'm going to put it in your ears so you can hear it. As you know, I have two different uh, ways of playing music for you. One in the studio, and the other is in your ears. So right now, when you hear me say in your ears, you're going to hear it like this in your ears. Now that shouldn't have happened. Let's try it again. Okay, we'll try again. I'm going to switch to my sound card that's in your ears. And there it is. Saturday night, I'm <laughs> All right, so let's listen to those vocals. Those are dry vocals with no uh, reverb. Alone on a Saturday night, I'm restless. You can forgive my pitching and all that stuff. I'm not trying to be perfect. That was a one-shot deal. Alone on a Saturday night, I'm restless. <laughs> All right, now let's hear what it sounds like with the reverb and uh, multi-band com compressor. Alone on a Saturday night, I'm restless. Okay, obviously this is not a perfectly mixed piece, but it does show you the difference between wet and dry. Now, what reverb and what attributes did, did I select? It really depends on the type of music that I'm uh, performing, such as this is more of a dance kind of fun song. So I wanted the reverb to kind of be really big and, and what I would call uh, wide. So I used a stereo uh, separator. I'm using the reverb or the fruity reverb too, so all of you should have that. Okay, uh, I put the ER up uh, to a very high gain of 100%. Uh, early reflection is what that call that's called, and that will give you kind of like a pre-reverb before the reverb. It will reflect the sounds early uh, and before it gets to the reverb that you'll get a reflection. So kind of think of yourself as singing into a hallway. There's an early reflection that uh, occurs when you sing into a cave, right? But when you get in the cave, uh, that early reflection doesn't occur. So it's, it's, it's either like you're standing outside of the room or you're in the room. Early reflection is outside of the room. Uh, inside the room is less early reflection. It's pretty simple. Now dry uh, means the amount of dry level or the original signal going into the reverb. Okay, And I set that somewhere around 80%. Uh, the next I had my wet level, I put that pretty high, almost 50%, but about 47%. That gives me that cave or cavern sound. And you can also change the parameters just by changing the shape here. Um, but I like to have the numbers because to me the, the numbers give me a more accurate vision of what I'm trying to achieve. All right, secondly, I added a multi-band compressor. Uh, and that multi-band compressor allowed me to compress the audio to make it louder but it also allowed me the option of changing just the particular band that I wanted, which was the mid bands, right? The vocal uh, range that we usually want to adjust is around 3K, right? That's the mid range, and that will allow me to get a more clean, clear, uh, articulate sound. So I actually raised that probably a little too high. I raised it 6 uh, decibels. I'm going to raise it to 5.8. Play it again. Alone on a Saturday night. Now listen as I lower the mid. So you can clearly see how it brings clarity into the mix 
and into the vocal part. So if you want to affect your vocals, uh, use your mid-range on a multiband compressor to bring out those mid-frequencies. Right? So that's all I have for today. It's just going to be a quick little shot in the arm. Um, if you really want to get, I mean, we're talking about, gosh, 100 hours worth of tutorials. Um, you definitely need to get that mixing formula tutorial package one and two, and then go get the music theory package. All right? King David, David and Clyde Music, BeatClass.com. One love. Peace. All alone on a Saturday.